Take a nap in that room. If anyone's here, don't bother me.
So this is what you do? Aspiring comedian, certified photographer and videographer, and probably the laziest sack of shit I've ever had the pleasure to smell. You smell awful. Please go take a shower. I took one last night. Then why you got a stank about you? I have no stank. You stank of failure. Oh. Ouch. You have the ability to make some really good stuff, but instead you- I was just gonna, uh- You shut the hell up. I wasn't finished. Yeah, 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 yes sir. Don't worry, people. I'm about to save this man from himself. Hello, everyone. I know that intro was a bit strange, but uh, but honestly, the the story between ghost me and and facial hair me uh, that's sort of the main plot, I guess. Uh, and I'm just sort of here to elaborate and give you a break because I know one of me is already a bit to handle so two of me might be a bit much so what better way to give you a break from two me's than to be just me which does not sound self-absorbed at all first thing I want to clear up is the name Asperger's it was not my original title that I wanted to go with, um, I wanted to do either WTF, um, alone, but where the N is parenthesized, I think that's the word, um, and then Asperger's was, was on the list, but it wasn't my top choice, but a little while ago, I recorded a couple songs for a mixtape that was going to be called Asperger's, and one of those songs is, is on this special and I mention it in the song. So I was like, all right, well, I, I don't hate the name, but I guess I'll have to go with it. And it has a somewhat personal thing to it. I mean, family, doctors, and friends alike have always theorized that I've been on the spectrum. So I'm not like, and Asperger's is just fun to say. I mean, say it, say it with me right now. Asperger's. If you're not laughing, you're soulless. But yeah, I mean, that's that's where the title kind of comes from. It's just, it's fun to say. People theorize I'm on the spectrum. And it says it in a song. It's, it's not rocket science, people. But anyway, th again, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you make it to the end. If you don't, that's fine. This shit is long as hell, so I don't blame you. But I do want you to know that I have quite literally put my blood, sweat, and tears into this project. Um, the lights are hot as Satan's scrotum, so I sweat just about every time I film. I, I might even be sweating right now. Um, I get nose... Like, people that know me know I get nosebleeds out the ass. Like, I'm not bleeding out my ass, but I get nosebleeds out the ass. You know what I'm saying. And so the dryness of this basement where I shot everything, my nose would bleed every now and then. So there's a blood. And towards the end, which this might be some inspiration to reach the end, uh, I had to make myself get emotional, and I ended up crying. I ended up making myself cry. So my blood, sweat, and tears have literally gone into this project, which I know a lot of people say, but I can mean it literally, which is fun. It's a fun thing. I am not much of a party goer. Um, you know, I, I, I don't drink. Um, I don't smoke. I don't do anything like that. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just, I, I don't partake. You know, really the only draw to a party would be the dancing because I do like dancing. But I've heard from a couple modern party goers that most parties nowadays don't, people don't dance. So then I'm like, well then what's the point in going if you're not going to, like, dance? Especially me. What's the point of going if I don't like getting high or getting drunk? 
what's the point? I'm going to be the fucking dude that just drives all the drunk people home. I don't want to be that guy. I don't have enough space in my car. I've never been one for parties. And when I was a little younger, not like not too far past, um, I used to think that, that people who did enjoy parties were the worst. So basically everyone in America. And I've since changed my mind about that. I, I, I don't like them, but I can see why some people would. Um, but it's just not for me because I'm like, A, why is there... N- I think people need dancing at parties. If you don't have dancing or music at your parties, fuck you. Seriously. Like, because dancing is the shit. It, there was a time where dancing was probably the only thing you were expected to do at a party. Right. And now it's just like, we're going to say, screw it. No dancing. It's unacceptable and you need to change it. So for anyone who watches this and has a party plan in the future, dance. And if you don't dance, I'm not going to find out because I don't know you, but somebody will fix it. Uh, People like me want to go to parties, man. And it's not fair that if we dance, people look at us weird. So... That's why I don't go to parties. All right, Aloe. We're gonna get you out in the world. Get those creative juices flowing. So, um, what makes you uncomfortable? Shouldn't I be doing things that do make me comfortable? Yeah, sure, no. If you want to remain the human equivalent of a pile of dirty laundry nobody wants to touch because it belongs to someone who does hot yoga in a pig farm, then absolutely, you can do whatever comfortable bullcrap you like. That was horrifyingly specific. Aloe... Good artists don't get inspiration by sheltering themselves from things that scare them or make them uncomfortable. You know, uh, if you shelter your brain from things like that, then how do you expect to improve on yourself? The best ideas come from some kind of suffering. So, what makes you uncomfortable? You know, what do you hate the most? Hello? Yo, Allo, what's up? Hey, hey, uh, home... Home slice. What you need, my guy? Um, I was wondering if uh, you could uh, tell me where you are. Oh, I thought I told you I was at that grunge party. You, you did. Uh, I, I just was hoping to join. Uh, you said parties were for people who are desperate for other people's approval. <laughs> yeah, but... And those who drink and smoke are just too stupid to find joy in new experiences and give in to lame social norms of the American youth. Yeah. Wasn't it you who said that grunge music is just a bunch of grown men whining into a mic while the guitars play the same four chords? Maybe. Yeah, I think I'll just do you a favor and hang up. Play smells like weed and pee anyway. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am super excited for this next one. It is a song by Al Vincent on the Asperger's mixtape. The one, the only, Weed and P. Ha! Huh. Put your fucking hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for the greatest hit of the century of the century. Women don't like me, men wanna fight me. Brush my teeth with paste that's whitening. Solving math problems as fast as lightning. So bad with women that it's truly kinda frightening. Never been high and I never been drunk. Guess I'm truly quite famous. Why I never been fucked. Walk by a house with a song or dance. Never been to a party. I guess now's my chance. I snuck in so that I could see that the whole damn place was just weed and pee. Weed and pee. Weed and Oh, oh, oh.
Nobody wants to admit it, but everyone's got a dating app. Just like problems with your anus. Everybody's got them every now and then, but nobody will admit it. I'm myself included. I have a dating app, which I don't know why, because I'm not a one night stand person. I'm not like, I, I, I don't know why. I guess I was just raised that that level of intimacy only comes with someone you have strong feelings for. So I almost like, you know, I'm like, Oh yeah, you know, one night stand, you know, let's, let's get laid tonight. And I'll match with a girl on Tinder and I'll be like, Oh my God, it's my future wife. The love of my life. I can't wait. Oh my God. We're going to go to a movie and love it. And then we're going to meet each other's parents. And it's dumb because that's not, that's not, why people get those apps. But yeah, I just I I could I could never do one night stands because I'm too emotional. I'm too, you know, romantic, I I guess, for lack of a better word. So when when stuff like that happens, I, I literally have to fight the urge to be like, cause that girl or guy may not even give a shit about you oh like a week from now. But I just I I'm an idiot. So I get that match and I'm just like, yes, wife. And that, that's, that's, that, I mean, that's why I need to get off those fucking apps because bleh. What about a date? Like the fruit? That's fair. Go on one of those dating apps. No. Why? You know why. Okay, well you're not gonna get your heart broke because you're not gonna fall in love. I don't understand. This app is for like one night stands, you know? Great inspiration for a young comedian like yourself. But that's not who I am. See, I like to get to know a girl, right? I like to see what makes her laugh, see what she's into. You know, maybe by the third date, meet her parents. Not distant family, but maybe immediate family. Make her dinner one day by myself and, you know, just really get to know who she is before I do anything that intimate. You sound like a little bitch right now, Alla. You are the most hurtful guardian angel. Shut up and help me fill this out. <clears throat> All right, how tall are you? Six foot, go fuck yourself. I'm just gonna leave that one blank. What are your hobbies? Pretty good at masturbating. Th that's not a hobby. That's just disturbing. Well, I don't know. We're just gonna put football. Alright, and I just filled the rest out with some bullhickey. And your account is live. Two, Two hours, hours later. Shit, you beat me to it. Hey, we got someone. Wait, what? Yeah, she's requesting to video chat. Dude, she seems right up your alley too. Living and breathing. Here. Dude, just imagine what this could mean if it all goes well. Hit it. Uh, this one's for you, girl. 
My girl's the best, you know what she does for me. She tells me when I'm getting fat and controls what I eat. She holds my hand in public if nobody's looking. She gives me compliments about my shitty cooking. She says that I dress like a great granddad. She always sprays me with cologne so I don't smell bad. My girls give me my very own place to sleep. This couch is all mine, I put my chips in the seat. She's real nice to my friends when they're all alone. I can only assume from the way that she moans. She's nice. something? Yeah. I imagined everything and how it would go and she was crazy. You got all that from high? I, um, as you could probably guess from my, my, my party rant, I'm very antisocial. Um, I sort of want to have my cake and eat it too, which don't even get me started on how stupid that fucking saying is. But I want to be like, I almost want this weird thing where it's like, I want everybody to want to hang out with me and think I'm so cool. And I just have the right to be like, no, but that's not how the world works. Um, 
so yeah, so I've almost had this this weird you know, I don't want to be one of those loners who hates his life. So I'm like, all right, I'm a loner and I'm, I'm going to almost like brag about being a loner. So I'll go out and people would be like, Hey, what's up? And I'll be like, I don't fucking care about you. I'm a loner. I sit by myself at restaurants. I go see movies by myself and it's not depressing because I'm happy. Which, you know, of course people will hear that and go, this guy's got his shit together didn't even bring it up and he's talking about it. So yeah. And in a way it's, it's depressingly hopeful is how I explain it because you're a loner. You have like, <laughs> you have like two friends that you, that you barely see, but, um, but it's hopeful because at least I'm proud of it in a sense, even if it's sort of a false proud, you can fake it till you make it. <sighs> Hello. You gotta work with me here, man. You always said you wanted to make people laugh on a wide scale so that even if it was just for a moment, you could make someone's day better. And you're not gonna be able to do that if you just stay inside all the time. It's because I have realistic expectations. Oh, oh, do you not? Yes. Elaborate. <clears throat> Success is all about luck. You just have to make one good thing and then keep your fingers crossed. That was the dumbest thing I've ever heard come out of a human being's facial orifice. Congratulations, you're the stupidest person in the world. Man, I didn't even ask you to be here. And yet, here we are. Once again, you dwell on the past and avoid the issues of the here and now. What issues? I'm not really supposed to say. Why? Because then that would defeat the whole purpose of a certain comedy special. Huh? Don't worry about it. And I'm the one that needs help. Allo, no one got anywhere by being a lone recluse. Well, I'm a future star, so... Not if you stay a lone recluse. I'm a lone star recluse. A what?
So, I, I mentioned it lightly in, in some previous rants, but I always knew your first steps into adulthood were going to be a doozy. But with me, um, my first steps were sort of like the steps that Kratos took when he jumped off that cliff in the first God of War. Um, and it feels like my adult life so far has been a fight with Mike Tyson. And at first I, I would find myself being like, why? Uh, But in a way I'm so thankful for it because it has, it has humbleized me. I think I used that word previously, but because I look back at who I was in high school and in sort of late middle school. And I was just such a, a dick like I was such a dick biscuit a dick dick biscuit dick 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 uh if you laughed at that congrats you literally laughed at dick uh 20 times I was such a dick biscuit that I I had this weird authority complex where I just thought I was right and everyone should should be honored that they get to hang out with me which is like, what the fuck? And because of that, <clears throat> you know, I, I just, it all backfired when I became an adult, you know? And in a way, I'm thankful I went through the things I've gone through in the past two years because it feels like it has aged me 10 years in two. And I'm still learning so much and I'm and whatnot that I'm just like, wow. And I, in a way, I'm sort of thankful that the world kind of punched me in the nuts to remind me where I came from. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? Except the fact that I'm proud of who I am. Yeah, we both know that ain't true. Yo, look at this cool gun I found. Dude, whoa, what the? Where did you get that? It was in this couch. It must have fallen out of someone's pocket. Give it to me. No, nah, dude. Finders keepers. Find it. Give it to me! Freeze, bitch. Stop, dude. Don't point that at me. You're under arrest for being a major dick. That's not a toy, dude. Dude, it's probably not even loaded. <laughs> No, you're not. No, f for real, I, I am. You're fine. Um, are you okay? I feel like you just had a total mood switch all of a sudden. Why are you here? I'm here to help you. No, really. Why are you here? I don't understand. You were never there for me before, so why now? I, I can't tell you. Why? I just can't. Then I think you should leave. After all I've done for you. Get off your fucking high horse, man. All you've ever done is highlight what's gone wrong with my life. Well, I didn't mean to. And yet you did. Look, dude, do you even know what it's like? To have everything you ever needed to make you happy, and then it just slips through your hands. I had a show with my best friend, a love life, a workout routine, wasn't even junk all the damn time. And do you know what happened? In the blink of an eye, it was all gone. And now I have nothing. But Aloe, that's not... Get out. Aloe, let me finish. Get out! Leave!
What was that? Well, that was where I had it ending. Well, that wasn't very funny. That, did, that didn't make me want to laugh. That, that, that made me sad. That made me want to cry. That's, go back to the, with the gun and the... That's funny. That's, that's comedy. It's humorous. You know, he's wielding the gun and, you know, shoots off. That's funny. But go back to the horrific, graphic death you put in. That's, it. that's not funny. That's sad. That made me want to cry. It's not a comedy. If it ends like that, so... Well, I don't, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, I, I figured out. Well, well, I don't know. I'm not the comedy humor guy. I'm, just, I'm, the, I'm the producer. I fund the money and give it to the creatives. And you clearly don't have that. So, what, what if maybe the, the ghost man, maybe he comes back and he, he brings him back to life. It gives him a second chance or something, he learns his lesson, you know. That, that actually could work. I, I, I know it could work, I'm doing, I'm doing your job for you. That's what I'm doing, it's not, it's not, it's not, that's not good to me. It's not nice to, to do that to me, but that's, that's what you gotta do, or we're not gonna, we're not gonna find something sad. So, please get on it. Bloody hell, it's not rocket science or trigonometry, any of that hard stuff. Come on. Hey, Allo. Nice shave. You really gotta let a man finish when he speaks. You asked me why I was there, and if I knew what it was like to lose everything. And I do. I was there because I am you. I am your ghost. The one that you made when you gave up. I know you have the strength and potential to bounce back. I'll never forget the faces of the people who saw me lie there in that terrible state. I knew I had to do everything in my power to make sure you didn't end up doing that kind of harm to others because of how hard you worked to bring joy. I know you think you've lost everything, but you haven't. As long as you make one person smile, brighten their day just a little, that's all you need. I know this because I've seen it. Don't stop trying. Stay true to you. 
from the ghost. The ghost. I intended for that video to be the end, to sort of leave with that message of, of what I explained. But upon watching all the videos, I realized there's a message that I wanted to put in that I, I think just either got cut or, or, you know, I just didn't get around to, to messaging it. So I'm going to say it. I'm not going to sing it. I'm not going to act it out. I'm just going to say it. I mentioned that my teenage years and stuff and, and whatnot, I was a bit of a, was a bit of a dick. And as a result, a lot of the people, you know, exes and old best friends and, and things like that, that I have wronged you in ways that I wish I could take back, but you can't, you can't go back in time and fix them. And even if you don't forgive me, even if you, you never even see this video, just the, the potential idea of letting you know that I am truly sorry and I am learning to better myself on a fundamental core level. I'm learning to better myself and, and try to make sure that, that nobody in the future had to deal with the shit that you dealt with hanging out with or, or being with me for so long. So I'm hoping that this apology, whatever it may mean, even if it means nothing, you should at least know that I am truly sorry. I was in the wrong. And I I am going to I'm going to do better. I I that is just something that I have decided. And, you know, it, it's not gonna be like I'll wake up and I'm a different person, but I'm glad that these events have happened so that I can enter my adulthood being a better me than I would have been because, you know, and there's still time, but I, I didn't go to college. And again, there's still time where I could enroll and, and go. And, and I, and that's a deeper thing that, that y'all don't need to know because you're not my family deal with it. But you know, I, I didn't get those four years of like, you know, transitioning, to that adult and, and learning. So I'm sort of learning through life experience, um, which I, in a way is kind of good. I, and I, I think I'll be able to just genuinely better myself as a human being. And I wanted to relay that message to all the people who, who look at me with sort of a sour taste in their mouth. It's like, oh, I, you know, he acts this way on camera and whatnot, but off camera, he's an asshole. Which at a time was definitely the case, but I just want to let you know that now I can see that and I'm going to give all my effort into just bettering who I am as a human being. So with that in mind, I know that was a little more serious towards the end, but uh, thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, I put my, my literal blood, sweat and tears into this and uh, I'm gonna go shave because jesus christ i hate it's not even like that much facial hair but i hate it i fucking hate it so yeah thank you for watching um have a good life everyone <gasps>
said I'm six and a half feet of total moron I'm in an original bum But now here I go on a beat that I made Doing something Allo never done before Ay, Spitting bad bars on a really shitty made beat He's a skinny white boy thinking that he makes me He's just into comedy, he ain't gonna make it I'll never eat ass, but that is a lady Tell you fun fact I'm about this Allo I wore full love till I was about eight years old Don't know why I said that, now I'm embarrassed Man, I wrote the book on how to disappoint parents Bro, I nearly died when my girlfriend left me Now I'm all back, looking so damn sexy If you make sure you just keep your eyes closed Cause only girls that like me are old blind folks All of my content, it's only alright But I got a few views and I think a few likes Try new things, yeah, I think I might Don't know what I did, but I did something right